like people. They need love and they need affection and they need friendship. When you go and you actually look at the faces in these cages, it's a, it's a pretty sad uh, thought. It almost doesn't make any sense. A woman by the name of Lori Bishop had a 13-year-old golden retriever uh, named Royal, who was a wonderful old dog who wandered off her property, it was picked up by a very well-meaning neighbor she called Animal Control, who took the animal in and then sold it to the University of Guelph for research. And the University of Guelph looked at that animal and said, way too old, killed Royal the day he came off the truck. This dog had a collar and tags. He'd been groomed. Clearly, this is an animal that was owned and loved. And yet the university looked past all that and just looked at a 13-year-old dog and so killed that dog immediately. And, and Lori spent an agonizing three weeks in search of her dog and only to find out that the research laboratory had simply killed and disposed of him. They did not prosecute the pound and they did not prosecute the researcher who took that dog illegally. The uh, Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs refuses to talk about it publicly, refuses to give any information about it, uh, and refuses really to enforce, as far as I can tell, the Animals for Research Act. Pound seizure, as I understand it, uh, allows researchers to go into a pound and uh, essentially pick pick any animal that they they say is a, is is good for them for research purposes. They request the animal from the shelter, and then that shelter is required by law in Ontario to send that animal to research. For people who don't know, a pound or a shelter takes in people's lost pets. So these are animals that have lived in people's homes, are their companions, um, have been loved by people, and these are animals that are then taken to research laboratories and having all kinds of research done on them. If an animal is in the care of animal control, after 72 hours, the pound would have to give up the animal for animal testing. So 72 hours after they're, they're taken over, then the owner loses ownership, pretty much. What's that, 72 hours, three days? Okay, oh, that's... Yeah. I don't think that's very much time. Yeah, 72 hours is definitely long enough. That's not very nice. I think it should be at least a minimum of two weeks. That's incredible. Uh, well, that's... <laughs> I don't feel comfortable about that at all. These are animals that have been taken into people's homes who trust people and uh, it is an absolute violation of that trust. Yeah, I feel like there should be at least some kind of law. There is a, an animal research, research act that, uh, that, that governs a lot of this activity and I, I'm happy that there is a there is a, a bill an act that that everybody has to respect are we doing that well I, sometimes I wonder about that uh, the law has been around since the 1970s in Ontario the animals for research act is the legislation that governs uh, pound seizure and it was created, um, I don't know the exact history, but I suspect because um, the researchers needed test subjects. And this was a, a quick and easy way for them to get their hands on these animals. Uh, Ontario is the only province that mandates pound seizure. Um, any pound or shelter in Ontario, if it is requisitioned by a research lab, by law is required to release that animal to the lab. 
Um, a number of places do not do that, but by law they would be required to. In Ontario, all pounds and shelters, including SPCAs and humane societies, are governed under the Animals for Research Act. It doesn't mean that those institutions comply with the Animals for Research Act. A number of municipalities um, do not participate in this kind of thing. Um, Toronto, for example, doesn't do it. Uh, Brampton, uh, Mississauga. The uh, Ontario Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs are responsible for looking at those facilities and making sure that they comply. And therein lay a problem a number of years ago because many of these places said, I'm not giving, you can requisition me all you want, but I'm not going to give it. Screw you, I'm not giving them to you. So OMAFRA was left in this position of deciding whether, were they going to go after these places and prosecute them for violating the Animals for Research Act. And interestingly, they ultimately decided not to do that because the controversy at forcing places publicly to give up people's lost pets that was a lost cause for them. They wouldn't have won that debate, so they decided to let it go and be quiet about it and just get from the pounds and shelters that they thought would just give them quietly.